Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another What's Sold video for you today. It's Monday, so we've got our weekend sales to pull. We're gonna follow Kathy and we're gonna start right now. Hey friends. Okay, so it's actually a pretty slow weekend, but we had our kids home on Friday. So. Sales wise slow. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a busy weekend yeah, busy. otherwise. <laughs> This is like the slowest I feel like it's been in forever. Oh, wow, yeah. Um, so first thing that sold is this. I don't even know the brand. London Ascot or something like that. Ascot? <sighs> sure. 100% wool. What do you call these? Like a newsboy hat? Or... Yeah, I'd call it that. Like a... Well, anyways, I got this from the bins like two years ago, but then it took me probably over a year to even get it listed, mostly because it has like all this moth damage on it. Some moth pits see that. and stuff, yeah. So I listed it low. I should have just probably redonated it, but I listed it and it sold today for nine eighty eight plus shipping. Um, I have about a dollar and four cents into it, so not bad. I did pull out a box I was gonna ship it in. Since we like shipping our hats in boxes, yeah, we're gonna put it especially in. something like this that can really get crushed. Yeah, so we don't want that to happen. So. That's what that is. And even still in the box, it's only going out at a 12 ounce rate. So Very nice. there's only like four something to ship out. All right, BQ. Of course, everything's gonna be here today because <laughs> we have a bunch of stuff going yeah. on right now. All right, these are some men's Carhartt, just like a cargo pant, I think, like green. I don't even know if they're cargo, but. I have $8.99 into these and someone offered me $25, so I went ahead and accepted. Seeing as sales were barely slow, <laughs> I was willing to pretty much take anything this weekend. Um, so yeah, that was on Poshmark, so they're going out in a mailing box. I don't want to lose the labels. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh. This one I did not write the location down, so we'll come back yeah, to we'll that one. Yeah, we'll come back one. to that one. <laughs> um, so then I sold a pair of L.L. Bean snow boots. This is top shelf. Here they are. It's not the top shelf, but it's a shoe shelf. <laughs> it is a shelf. <laughs> Everything's on a shelf. Um, yeah, so snow boots are starting to sell. Uh, these are just L.L. Bean. I actually bought these at the end of last winter, so they've been sitting a while. Um, but yes, I had $8.99 into these. Someone offered me $34 and I accepted on Poshmark. Those are gonna be a little too big for, they might fit in a regional B, huh? We're doing that. Anyways, for shoes, I don't think they'd fit in a shoe box like this. Right. Like the box. Find in here. You know, I'm just thinking if we had the space, it would be really nice if we had like a box of every size and shape assembled so we just <laughs> yeah, pull it off a shelf and see how well it fits, you know? Yeah. Someday we'll have that much space. Just put them right here. Yeah, up there. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I've always, like, I feel like we need to do something. I know. I don't know what we could possibly do I know. that's functional. I was thinking maybe or... hanging some cool flags or something, but mm -hmm. don't want to make it too dark in here. <laughs> Right now, it's just boring. Boring, boring, boring. Uh, I sold my light-up Crocs that I decided I didn't <laughs> want to wear out and about. Um, I actually paid, since I bought these for myself, I got them off Facebook Marketplace. I paid like 45 plus shipping, so my total came out to like 54, 64 with tax and everything. But they sold on eBay for 81.79 plus shipping, so. Really good seal. And you bought them because you did not know that they were light up. I didn't know they were light up. Yeah, I was just like, cool, I'll have something to slip on yeah. for all of fall, pretty much. <laughs> and yeah, I'm not going to wear Too those <laughs> other than maybe around the house. But um, against my better judgment, I'm shipping these out first class. Oh, yeah? I normally wouldn't do first class on such a big sale, but... I don't know why I did. I probably should have bought the <laughs> priority label. I think it was because it was twice as much. They're going to California, which normally a label to California would only be like 850, and it was like five something for first class, but I don't know if where they lived was far away. Let me see. McKinleyville, California. No so idea. I don't know if that's like super far and that's why it costs more, or right. if the rates are shooting up and I just haven't noticed yet. 
like the shipping costs for the although they were acting like it was only going to be 30 cents or so per right so i don't know they're going out first class <laughs> fingers crossed nothing happens where they get yeah. lost but and yeah. odds are nothing will happen <laughs> it'll all go smooth i normally still would insure it but but then again murphy's law you know yeah. <laughs> If something's gonna go wrong, it's gonna be on those that we have forty dollars in <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Yep. Um, I sold these girls Berkies. They're like a Paris theme. I have six ninety nine into them. They sold on what was it eBay? I don't remember where they sold. I think it was eBay for twenty seven nineteen plus shipping. They are under a pound, so they're going out in a poly. Speaking of polys, let me show you guys. We got oh, some yeah. new shipping hip. So we got a fall floral and then a woodland creatures. So that's cute for like kids items. Yeah. Cute for women's items. Let's use one for these shoes. So yeah, if you guys want to get any of those, we do have a shipping hip link below and code is just ginger, no, ginger, ginger 15, 15. Yep. and they ship for free. So. 15% off your order if you get anything. All right, hanging up here. This is just a women's LL Bean puffer coat. I picked this up at a garage sale over the summer for five bucks and it sold for 22 22 plus shipping on eBay. Whenever I send offers, sometimes I just like to make it all the same. I, don't know. I think it's funny. <laughs> It's probably not funny to anybody else. Uh, so yeah, this is over a pound. So I did pay for the two pound rate. Although I think if I put it in a box, it would put me over. So I'm probably just gonna be double bagging. Double that. poly. Yeah. So I'll probably try it in a box before I decide for yeah. sure, but. And even if we put it in a box, it's probably gonna go in one of these polys anyway. Because, I don't know, is that too big for our clear cellophane bags? Yeah, I think it's too puffy. Those yeah. always rip if you try to put anything too big in them. So we try to make sure, unless it's like right on the, the line of being overweight, <laughs> um, we'll, we try to have everything in a bag inside of a box or another bag just for that extra protection. Those cellophane bags, even though they're very thin, they are very sturdy, surprisingly. So uh, it is a lot of protection for minimal cost. And box AI, I think this is. I don't think it's AL. Let's see. These are just some Sorrel snow boots, and I actually got these at my recent Once Upon a Child haul, which by the time this video goes up, you guys have probably already seen. So that day I picked up, I think, like 50 pairs or something. Not of all the same, but just 50 pairs of snow boots. I averaged my cost of goods, so it came out to 807 a pair, and Someone on Posh offered me 30, so I accepted. So I love Posh because everything's covered, the shipping. So yeah. all I have to do is put it in this box and send it off. Not super easy. So that's about, so $24, that's about $15 profit. If I could make 15 off 50 pairs right. that I sourced in a day, listed, I've already listed 20 of them in a few hours. So that'd be awesome. Yeah, we love batching out that kind of work. Yeah. That's a good way to... Yeah, basically, I think about that almost like as an hourly wage, although it only took me two hours maybe to list 20. Right, right. So, uh, Nike hoodie. This is just something I had bought for my sons and they didn't wear it. I paid $12 at TJ Maxx, sold it on Facebook for 15 plus ships. So basically, just trying to get my money back. One of these mailers. Are Under Armour Go. Oh. So why does it say eighteen dollars? I wouldn't have sold these for eighteen dollars. <laughs> I was thinking it was men's because it says Under Armour Golf Shorts on my uh, label, but men's usually sell twenty-five to thirty. Right. These are little boys. Um, they sold for eighteen free ship on Kitizen. I actually bought them off Kitizen a couple weeks ago for my son. I paid fourteen dollars for them, but. They don't have the like adjustable waist, so they just didn't fit him right. So I went ahead and relisted them. After shipping and everything, I'm actually gonna lose like two bucks, but it is what it is. Those will go out in a mailer. What do we got? Let's do the dinos. All 
right, a Q. Another pair of the bogs. There was one pair where, so most of them are, have a tag attached. This was the only pair that did it, but they're still like new without tag, new without box. Yeah. Um, so I listed them like five bucks less than the rest. And someone offered me 30. That was a little too low because I'm trying to at least, I'm trying to double my money, but since these didn't have a tag, I was like, well, if I can at least make a $10 profit. So I don't normally count her, but I counted it at 45. They were listed at 50 and she came up to 40. So I was happy to take that. Yeah. So 40, I make 32, I paid 15.58. So yep, yeah, right about doubling my money there. These fit nicely in the regional A boxes. And then box A. These are just some men's Salomon sneakers. I have $9.99 into these from Goodwill. And on eBay, I sent somebody an offer for 40 plus ship and they accepted. So that is awesome. And those hoops are gonna go out in the shoe box and just eBay. This was a cool sale just because it was full price. What are you doing, Reese? I just closed your window. <laughs> it's not a huge profit because I overpaid for these on purpose. I just I just like them. <laughs> They're just some men's Volcom corduroy shorts. I'm like, I don't know, I really like corduroy right <laughs> now. So I got them at Goodwill, but they were new with tag, so I did pay $10.99 for them, and they sold for $39 on Posh. That was my fullest price, so. It's actually a really good seal for just a pair of shorts. Poshmark was rocking it this Maybe. weekend, huh? Yeah. It's about the only thing that was <laughs> for me. All right, and then I finally sold these. These have been sitting forever. It took me forever to list them in the first place because I did not know how to read the size on them if they were men's or women's. Right. So we tried, well, we wasted so much time trying to figure this yeah. out. We even asked some of Chris's siblings who are in the military and they just didn't seem like theirs looked different. So right. nobody could tell me. I asked all my Instagram followers and got like a ton of different answers. So I tried them on and they're a size seven and I'm like a women's nine and a half and I could kind of get them on. So I just assumed they're men's. So I listed them as men's. So hopefully there's no issues with these. But yeah. Someone offered me $25 on Posh. That was the first offer I've ever gotten, and I just went ahead and accepted. I have $7.99 into those, so not great, but right. ready to see them go for sure. They're really nice boots. They're basically new without box. They're yeah. Vortex, by Room Souls, so. We live in a uh, city, state, that has a lot of military bases, so we see, you know, like combat boots, military boots all the time in the thrift, and we've, done well in the past like Kathy was saying but these ones were just too much work <laughs> uh, so I think oh that box is broken oh. well <laughs> we don't have any more of the really big ones but it looks like they're gonna fit in a regional B so that's good but yeah if you ever heard of these let me tell you what the size tag said it just said Air Force TW size 7 WF so Yep. Uh, originally, I thought WF might have meant women or female, mm -hmm. but then I wide was like, female, wide foot. But they're not very, they're very narrow looking. Yeah, they weren't. <laughs> so, I don't know. Hopefully, the person feels <laughs> like they got a great deal and they fit them and everything's good. But yeah. thankfully, they sold on Posh, so worst case, we get a return. Hopefully, that does not happen. Right. All right, AU. These are women's, the brand Hotter Comfort Concept. I have $4.99 into them. They sold on Posh for $26 with discount shipping. So a buyer accepted the Posh or BA discount. I feel like we are going crazy with the boxes right now. So those will probably just ship out in a regional B box as well. Yep, look at the mess we <laughs> made. <laughs> so we, we need to fill it up more. I know. <laughs> All right, box O. I saw oh, yeah. like three LL Bean things this weekend. Nice. All right. This it is fall. <laughs> like, it's like here. One was a jacket, a kid's snow boots, and then these are kind of like polished boots. Yeah. These I picked up at an estate sale for $7.47. I sold them on 
Mercari for $26 plus shipping. So, Ooh. is that another sale? Sounds like it. And Oh, I have two sales. I have Ooh. Poshmark sale too. When is uh, Poshmark gonna get a, a no, like a notation, a notification? Right. That would be nice. <laughs> I don't know if these would fit in here. Since these are sandal or not sandal, smart posts. Yeah, this one's too slim. Probably this box or a random one I'll find in the closet yeah. afterwards. FedEx smart posts, you have to use your own packaging. We yeah. could probably even use a poly mailer if we had to. Yeah, but we Wrap don't. it in bubble wrap <laughs> and put it in a poly mailer. Yeah. All right, North Face. Oh gosh, this is something I've had for probably two years. I bought this at a Goodwill for $5.99 and it sold finally for $15 plus shipping on Facebook. Very happy to see it go. That wasn't a great sale. I would still probably pick it up again, even though it took that long, but yeah. Where's my new mailer? You've covered them all up. There it is. Let's do a woodman. All right, and then last but not, oh, that was the one. Where... Yeah, that's right. We don't <laughs> so... know the box. So I think what we'll do yeah. is we'll we'll cut here, we'll pack all this up, get and we'll get other the labels. other two sales ready and find out where that other, the third, yep. that last sale was, and then we'll be right back. <laughs> all right, guys, got everything packed up and figured out where the one item is. Yes. And we, what, we had one other sale come in too, right? Or Well, so we had, we had two that you guys heard on the camera, and then there was also a Facebook sale when I checked my email, oh. and then the one, the one that, that we forgot. Yeah. So we got to pull four more things. Yeah, so this is the one that's already come through. Uh, these are those Clarks, kind of like an Oxford Creeper. So I bought these purely based on style. I don't normally pick up a ton of Clarks um, unless they're cheap or like perfect condition. But yeah, these were cool. Like normally Clarks sell for 25, 30 bucks. I thought these would sell for more, and they did. Um, $35 plus shipping, so not bad. Yeah. Uh, I have $9.71 average cost of goods into those. They sold on Facebook. The buyer was messaging me, and I decided to respond today, so <laughs> I made a sale. But um, she just lives up in Denver, and she was really hoping to have them by this weekend. So I think since she lived in Denver... Yeah, it's Monday. It's, it's a good chance of that. Mail. Yeah, it should only take a day or two to get to her. So that's that. And then DE... You almost got in front of my face, man. <laughs> what you doing, Buster? What you doing? I'll give you a tummy rub. He's a boy. <laughs> That's my boy. All right. <laughs> this is just a peak kid shirt. It says Africa. And then on the back, it has. I think it's like how you say hello in. in like, like Swahili a, or something like that? Yeah, but it's like a whole bunch of words. Oh, so I get a bunch cool. of languages. Cool. So, um, anyways, I bought this off thread up for my son. He wore it a couple times. I have $9.99 into it, and it's sold for $25 plus shipping on my car. So, he got to wear it, and I doubled my money. That's what I like to do. Yeah, and who does not like to double their money? <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's do a unicorn. All right, and then... CW. Okay, we sold our last pair of the shark bugs in a size six. So we're just down to all the size fives. I think I have seven size fives toddler. That seems to be the size that I always get stuck with towards the end. So I need to be more picky on that. Yeah. I think I've sold one or two of the five. So I, I'm confident they'll sell, but slowly. Yeah, and at this point, we've, we're have we in the green on the whole deal. So yeah. if it takes a little longer on those, we're okay with that. Yeah, and I might drop the price on Facebook yeah. to 30 and then I'll profit 10 and that's still really good for multi-quantity, one listing type thing. So anyways, these ones sold for 35 plus ship on Facebook. Those will just go out in a mailer. Reese got over here somehow. <laughs> Going to his other spot. <laughs> and last but not least, this one. This is the posh sale that came in, although I realized it's to a guest buyer, which means they paid full price, which means I can't ship it for at least three hours. So I'll tell you about it, but we'll ship it out tomorrow. Yeah. Um, it's just some men's Tiva sandals, size, well, 
doesn't matter what size. <laughs> they sold for $45 on Posh, so I have $9.99 into them, so it was a good sale. All right. Just ship out tomorrow. So yeah, and if you're unaware with Poshmark, if somebody buys full price, Poshmark gives them three hours to cancel with like no penalty or anything like that. Um, so we have made it our rule to not ship out until that three hours. <laughs> it just so happens to be that that puts us behind until tomorrow for this one. But um, in case you guys were unaware, I know that's kind of one of those rules that not a lot of people know about. Um, but it would. Be unfortunate if that got mailed out and yeah, they canceled because then it would still be on its way. <laughs> so. So I have had people cancel within the three hours, although this is not usually a guest buyer. So yeah, um, I feel like a guest buyer doesn't even have a Poshmark account and wouldn't not be able to figure that out. So right. Yeah. All right. So that is going to do it for this video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I don't think there was anything else, else you wanted to talk about, and we're kind of running. Yeah, running. we got to get to the school line. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.